and then taking action towards that and then taking action again and enough times will program you into that reality. Welcome to another video everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Today I want to talk about the ugliness of our current times in terms of releasing karmic patterns and subconscious programming. All the conditioning throughout our lives that have kept us held back from what we truly desire on the deepest level, on a soul level. This is anything but pretty or pleasant or delightful. But at the same time, it's exhilarating and it's relieving to be able to recognize our patterns, our karmic patterns and our subconscious programming patterns that have kept us closed off or boxed in or in misery and unfulfillment and all these things. Um, so many of us at this time are dealing with this and facing this on an individual level through one another and on an individual level as we heal our ancestral trauma and our personal trauma. And a lot of this looks like it stems from childhood with abandonment, with feelings of not belonging and then comes envy and jealousy and rage and anger, you know, and per the perpetuation of feeling like you're not understood and you're not heard and you're not seen and everything like that. Um, blocked chakras, you know, unable to emotionally express yourself in a creative way that empowers you. All these sort of things are being brought up in order to figure out a way in which we can now do this. You know, and the first step is awareness. So I want to emphasize that it is so important to remember that as ugly and as painful as it is to have to look square in the eye, our trauma and our ugliness, when we're experiencing it and because we've experienced it, there's nothing wrong with that it's necessary that we do experience it. What matters is what we do with it. You know, the awareness of it initially is the hardest part. But what we choose to do with that is what is going to create our future. Because that's what we're here to do. That's what the Earth School has been all about, is learning how to rise out of the programs. Because even though it, these sensations and emotions tied with this programming can take over our entire body it feels like the fact remains that it is only a program and so what matters is that we become aware of it we accept it we have compassion and acceptance and love for ourselves unconditionally we choose to love ourselves for who we are in the midst of that ugliness and then what we do. So first get the get your vision and your mentality in alignment with love and acceptance. And then the action. We have to take the act. The action is what takes us into that new reality. The action is what programs our subconscious for the new reality that we desire. So awareness Getting your, your vision and your energy in alignment with what it is that you truly desire on the deepest level and then taking action towards that and then taking action again and enough times will program you into that reality. Now, the because we've dealt a lot of us and some a lot longer than others because we've, you know, kind of experienced and been operating from these subconscious programs all of our lives this runs so deep so when we're in this frequency of of hate or envy or shame or 
whatever it may be that we don't desire to be experiencing. Tied to that is going to be memories. It's going to be, you know, places, people, things, activities, even dreams. So our dreams, our activities, the things we do that we know, our clothes that we wear, our homes even, you know, it, it threaded into the walls, everything, because what we have inside is literally on the outside. So in everything is programmed what we have subconsciously been operating out off of. That's why, you know, it's so painful and challenging when we initially bring our awareness to these programs that and, and trauma that we're releasing is because we realize how deeply embedded it is. And that causes fear and that creates fear around, am I going to be able to rise out of this but like i said the awareness the changing of the mentality the visualization the scripting the getting your energy in alignment with what it is that you truly desire and then taking action on that it's so crucial it's so important taking action on that enough times will program you into the reality that you desire. But step number one is, is the most important one because you have to be able to look square in the eye what you fear the most. Once you're able to do that and, and you're able to accept yourself and love yourself unconditionally with that, it's pretty much a wrap from there. You've got the upper hand from there. So I wanted to make a quick video about this because so many of us are dealing with this right now and it's so important that we're able to do this for ourselves so that we can be there for other people so that we can show up for the world in the way that we want to. You know, if we've dealt with anger and rage and, and jealousy and, you know, exclusion and abandonment and all these ugly things all of our lives, now is the time where we're able to align with who we truly are, leave those karmic patterns in the past, and step into the new day that you know is rightfully yours. It's not like we have to put a blinder onto the past and, and pretend it never happened. Absolutely not. It, that's impossible. The moment you try to do that, you're failing at becoming something new. It's about acceptance. It's about awareness and intention and becoming. 